So our fourth inductee is uh, Dr. Jean Harry. She's unfortunately away, can't be with us, but uh, please welcome Dr. Mary Vivian, uh, who is uh, Dr. Harry's nominee.
engaging in her responsibilities by teaching a wide array of courses in general education, including survey courses, and seminars in her field, and at the graduate level. This view of Dr. Harry's influence on our students is echoed by one of our alums who states, Dr. Harry's lectures and reading assignments prompted lively class discussions, which she moderated with equanimity. She stressed the importance of critical thinking through reading and writing. This may appear elementary, but for some of us, it was a new intellectual challenge. Her classes revealed biases of which I was unaware, and she inspired me to consider various points of view objectively. Critically evaluating source material as well as writing history in the context of balance and rational argument is not only useful in scholarly pursuits, but it is a comprehensive life skill. The same student added that Dr. Jean Harry inspired me to seek a graduate degree in history and to complete a thesis in early modern English history. I am grateful for her encouragement and support. Dr. Harry has remained an active scholar, publishing articles and presenting at conferences. She received some 12 research awards, including two National Endowment for the Humanities Fellowships, and her research has appeared in major peer-reviewed journals in her field. Since you probably don't know these, I'll just leave it at that. She further compiled a long list of published book reviews. And even in retirement, she remained an active scholar recently presenting her current research project at the department's historical research group and having her paper accepted for presentation at January's meeting of the American Historical Association in Chicago. Perhaps more than anything else, Dr. Harry contributed heavily to the functioning of this university over her very long career, developing what can only be called an extraordinary record of service. Highlights include department chair, as I mentioned, single subject coordinator, as I said, but also numerous administrative search committees, the university review committee, assistant dean in the School of Arts and Sciences twice, chair of numerous committees, including the GE Task Force, IRB, GIAC, and Women's Studies, as well as numerous school and campus committees. Since she's retired, she has even volunteered to work in the archives in the Historical Research Center of our library. These many varied experiences and service made Dr. Harry invaluable to the department and the university. Her institutional memory and understanding the ins and outs of university life administration helped the department navigate program reviews, threats of moratorium, and myriad new projects such as curriculum changes in conjunction with the transition to semesters. And for all these reasons, I think she's so deserving of being inducted, so I'm, of course, delighted that she is. And on a personal note, I want to add that uh, having her in the department, and she had been in the department for 15 years when I came, was an incredible asset. Uh, I found her to be a most encouraging and helpful mentor to me, and I'm so fortunate to have been her colleague and proud now to be her friend. Thank you. So, uh, Jean asked me to read her acceptance. She's not here. Um, it's, uh, she said that, um, I'm sorry that I will not be able to attend the Faculty Hall of Fame event, but I would greatly appreciate it if you would extend my deepest appreciation to all those involved in awarding me that honor. Had I not made prior plans to visit my family in Texas, and what grandmother can resist the siren call of her own granddaughter, I would have been a proud attendee. It was my honor to serve the institution for 40 years. From the early stages when we struggled to build a campus and develop academic programs, even as sheep grazed on our grounds, to the point where enrollment uh, was, is booming and we have established ourselves as a significant presence in so many areas of the larger community we serve. Over the years, I worked, uh, I worked with three university presidents, seven deans, countless academic support personnel, and many wonderful faculty colleagues. It is working with the students that I treasure the most. They challenged me to become a better teacher, opened my mind to new ideas and experience, 
and honor the sacrifices so many of them made to get a university education. It is a pleasure to encounter one of our graduates, sometimes decades later, and to learn what they have done with their education. I am deeply honored to be inducted into the faculty.